Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm at a spot that I used to hunt regularly back in the 90s. And uh, there was some Civil War activity in the area. Found a lot of Civil War relics here. And got a lot of firsts here. Got my first Civil War button. Uh, got my first Seated Liberty coin right over next to that tree. And even got my first large scent right over there. So um, the reason I've decided to come back and hunt it again is because the detector I was using back in the day was a white Spectrum XLT, which is a uh, good solid machine, but it's not really known for its depth. Matter of fact, in this soil, generally on a coin sized object, five or six inches was about the limit. So today I've got the CTX 3030 and a couple more decades of experience under my belt. So I'm hoping I can go out here and find some targets that were maybe slightly out of reach before. So uh, stand by and we'll get started. This one, 1333, five inches. 1132, five inches. That's either gonna be an India head penny or a rotten zinc penny, or maybe even a, a bottle cap, but this sounds pretty good. So we'll dig it up and see what it is. Okay, that one did turn out to be an Indian head penny. I can uh, make out the headdress there. I can't quite see the date. Maybe you guys can see it on the camera. Anyway, that's a pretty good find. Fourteen forty-five at five inches. Thirteen forty-four at six inches. That could be a silver. Possible silver dime. Okay, that one was a silver. That's a mercury dime. Uh, can't really see that date. 1944, maybe? Not really sure. Anyway, that's the first silver of the day. Just got a 1234 signal right there and at about five inches down, popped out a three ring mini ball. So still a few Civil War relics around here. All right, we'll see if we can get some more. 1346 at six inches. That could be something good. That one turned out to be some kind of token. It's a big number five on the front and on the back, I can't really make out what it says. Something about redeemable premium. I don't know. We'll get it cleaned up and get a better look at it in the, in the wrap up. Hey guys, I just got something that I think is very cool. Check this out. Know what that is? I know some of you Civil War relic hunters know what it is. That's what they call a time fuse adapter from a parrot shell from the American Civil War. It's a good ways down there, about eight or nine inches. Uh, these two smaller holes, one on each side there was for the fuse wrench. It's kind of like a spanner wrench and the bigger holes where the fuse would have went. Uh, when, the, when the blast left the cannon, it would have ignited the fuse and it was timed in a way so that it would explode as it got to the target, throw shrapnel everywhere, but I'm really happy about that. That is awesome. Eleven thirty-two. Eleven thirty-two. That could be either a Indian head penny or another mini ball. Yeah, that one turned out to be another Indian head penny. Rubbed it just a little bit to try to get a date, and it looks to me like uh, 1888. Little focus there. Oh, 0735, six inches. Oh, 0435, six inches. That one was about seven inches down. And it's another three ring mini ball. Awesome. There's a lot of surface trash out here. So what I've been doing is just looking for signals that are at least five or six inches deep. 
I don't like that one. That one is a uh, 1237 at five inches. 1940 at six inches. We'll dig it up and see what it is. And that one just turned out to be a deep wheat scent. It's about six inches down. I just got a shallow 1234 signal at only about four inches down. I just popped out another mini ball. This one's been pulled. See the wormhole there. Pretty cool. Five inches. 0733, five inches. That's another mini ball type signal. Yep, that's another 58 caliber three ringer. Never get tired of digging these. Fourteen thirty-one, four inches. Oh six thirty-one, four inches. That could be a mini ball. Well, that one turned out to be what I believe is going to be one of those old Chinese coins. At least that's what it looks like to me. Just got that on a twelve thirty-one signal. It looks like a flattened round ball or a round ball that hit something. And there is yet another three ring mini. I forget how many that is for the day, but I'll take them. Just got another one. That one was a good eight inches down. Another drop three ringer. Just dug that on a 1235 signal. Not sure if that's some kind of watch part or what. Looks pretty old though. Just got that on a 1217 signal. Anybody know what that is? I have no idea. I just got another one on a 1234 at about nine inches deep. Another drop three ringer. Just plucked that thing out right there at about five inches down. And I believe it's gonna be one of those old tax tokens. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. We'll get it cleaned up and take another look at it in the wrap up. Got a faint 1337 signal at about nine and a half or ten inches down. Just popped out a musket ball. That one looks to be in good shape. 2032, six inches. 1532, six inches. I predict this will either be a mini ball or one of those wadded up piece of copper wires that's been driving me crazy. We'll dig it up and find out. And it turned out to be a piece of copper wire this stuff's been driving me nuts it sounds just like a deeper musket ball or mini ball but it's actually just about two or three inches deep anyway just got that on a 12 13 signal right there only about four inches deep anyway that's a buffalo nickel i'm not gonna bother looking for a date right now but i'll put a picture up Okay, that's where I just got the buffalo and I rescanned the hole and I still have another solid nickel signal in here. So hopefully, hopefully I got a spill here. Yep, there's a nickel. And it's gonna be another buffalo. Nice. Uh-oh, maybe another one. Yep, there's another nickel. What's that? Okay, that's going to be a V nickel there. Awesome. I can't tell what the date is, but I'll get a picture and try to get a date off of all three of these. Check it one more time just to make sure. That could be just false. Anyway, two buffaloes and a V nickel out of the same hole. Okay, I just got the nickel spill right there and less than probably three feet away, just got another one, another buffalo. 
So for whatever reason, somebody lost a bunch of nickels under this old tree. Okay, still in the same spot where I got the nickels. Got a, looks like a 1835 here at five inches. 0932, five inches. Could be an Indian head or, or a mini ball. Okay, that is an Indian head. It was about six inches down. Looks like the date is a uh, 1885 maybe. Nice green tint to that one. Just got a 1033 signal that was about eight inches deep and pop this out. Take a look at that. That looks like maybe they fired two mini balls at the same time. That's my guess anyway. That's pretty neat though. And there's yet another one. That one was down there. That was easily 11 inches deep. Another three ringer that's been pulled. And there's silver number two, which is a rosy dime. Looks like a 1946. Anyway, I'll take it. O one thirty six at eight inches. O five thirty six eight inches. And that one was right around eight inches down, and it another musket ball. And there's yet another musket ball that was down there pretty deep. Uh, that pinpointer, I think, is 9 inches, so it was right around 11 inches deep. Just got what's left of an old lock on a 1246 signal. Someone was asking me a few weeks ago, why do I call out the ID numbers of the targets as I show them? And the reason for that is just in case there's some newer MindLab FBS users watching, I just want to kind of give them an idea of how this stuff reads. And just got that one on a 1038 signal. That's a flattened out three ringer. Well, I found the old block earlier. Now I got the old key to go with it. Just got that on a 1040 signal. Just got silver number three on a 1246 signal. And that's another mercury dime. I believe the year is a 1942. Fifteen thirty-four six inches. Yeah, that's gonna be a fired mini ball. It's got silver number four on a 1244 signal about, I don't know, about five inches deep. And that's another mercury dime. I have no idea what that date is. Anyway, we'll get a look at it later. And I just got another three ringer, which was I don't know, about eight inches down. Got that one on a 1233 signal. All right, guys, this video is probably starting to run a little long, so I'll go ahead and wrap it up. I'll pan over everything here and let you get a look at it. But I'm going to start with a mystery pile. So if you happen to see anything here you recognize, let me know down in the comments what it is. I was curious about that one. I first thought it was an eagle, but now that I've cleaned it up, I'm not really sure what it is. It looks pretty old, though. Uh, that thing, whatever it is, I'm not sure. And this was down there, I don't know, at least a foot deep. So that could be something from the Civil War. But I don't recognize it. Uh, there's a lead ring. Some kind of old pump. And here's a few things I found with my buddy James yesterday. So you get one Civil War bullet. And 
whatever that is. I've found these things before, but I have no clue what that is. Uh, a lot of this stuff's just junk. I got three Mary Widow's tins, an old uh, barrel from a cap gun. What's left of a little coffee pot or a teapot. Uh, what else? There's part of a lantern. I think that probably came out, came out of a tail light from an old car. There's some kind of old pulley. Uh, lipstick tube. And I thought this was pretty neat. That's some kind of leaf with a big acorn in the middle. I have no idea what that came off of, but it gave a killer signal. Uh, there's an old coat hanger, a few old locks, got the old key, a couple of head stamps. As far as coins go, I got 16 wheat pennies and four old nickels. Three of them were buffaloes and one bee nickel. Uh, I got three Indians. I think the dates were 1885, 1888, and 1900-something. I don't remember what the other one was. I did get four silvers, none of them very old. That's three Mercuries and one Rosie. Got the old Chinese coin and uh, three aluminum tokens. A couple of uh, bail seals there. And my favorite finds would have to be the Civil War stuff. Ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mini balls, uh, three or four musket balls, a couple of old rimfire casings, and my favorite find would have to be the time fuse adapter since I've never found one of those before. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.